Hey YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about readers, specifically leveled readers. Um, I want to share with you some of the selections we have made for my daughter for her second grade year. Um, a little background about readers. Um, when my daughter was in public school, I had a hard time finding readers that she could read that didn't have any television princesses or Disney characters or other kind of TV characters um, associated with them. Mostly the flyers that I would get home had just a bunch of readers that had those types of characters. And so um, I really began this search for readers that she could enjoy that were about a bunch of different subjects, fiction and nonfiction, that she could read um, that were about these new um, characters and different plots that she had never um, been exposed to before. Um, so that was kind of difficult to do. And so, but over time I did manage to put together some things um, for her that she could read. Um, and those books will be for her sister to read and then her brother to read eventually. So right now we're on the second grade um, level. Now the levels of the books um, that we're reading um, are from levels one to three and depending on the publisher that puts out the readers they have their levels don't always um, kind of interchange between publishing companies for example um, passports to reading and then I can read series those the three level three and one does not necessarily match up with the level three and the other if that makes sense um, so anyway, so I wanted to share the books that we're reading. These are not all of the books that she's going to read this year, but this is a big chunk of what uh, we're starting her off on. Um, so I'd just like to share that with you. And if you have any um, readers that you can recommend to me, I would love to hear um, what you have read or any um, ideas for for readers. She is a reluctant reader. She reads very well and at grade, grade level, but she does get intimidated by those bigger chapter books with less pictures in them and um, more words. And so those I tend to use as read alouds for my kids. Um, so I do want her to still read independently and have that quiet time to herself. And um, she likes to read out loud to me too. And so I like to have these re uh, readers for that reason. Okay, so let's get started. So I have this little magazine um, container here that I use. I got this at Ikea. It's made of cardboard. I think it was about $3, really inexpensive, and they have these metal reinforcers on the corners to help keep them together. Um, and I think it's pretty stable. So far, it hasn't broken down. All right, the first book I have here is the Little Bear series. This one is beginning reading one. Um, and it's the I Can Read series book. It also won a Caldecott honor. And if you look on the back here, the level one is Simple Sentences for Eager New Readers. This is a chapter book, and it has four chapters in it. I'll just do a quick flip through so you can get an idea. The illustrations are beautiful. We really, really love um, Little Bear stories. And um, when my kids were younger, well, when my daughter was younger, she loved watching the Little Bear series. I love the messaging in um, their series. And we have another Little Bear here, Father Bear Comes Home. It's also an I Can Read, so it's still on the, the level one. This one has four chapters as well really darling illustrations. I love the content. And another Little Bear. This one is Little Bear's Friend. Also a level one I can read book. Four chapters as well. She read the um, the black book of this one last year and I don't know if that was a level one or two. Um, but she just loves these books. Okay, we have an I Can Read from the Zondra Kids series. Um, this is the Princess Twins Play in the Garden. 
Um, this one is just a, um, a story. It doesn't have a chapter, so it's pretty much a read through. It looked pretty cute, and I like the Zondra Kids um, series for their, their biblical views. And that's a level one. This is another Bible reader. This is called My First. So these are the ones that are ideal for sharing with emergent readers. But she reads this one um, on her own, this series. Another Zondra Kids I Can Read book um, is about Queen Esther, Helps God's People. I love that she has these little readers that she can read about Bible stories and um, Bible heroes and other important biblical figures. All right, now we have a level two of the Zondra Kids I Can Read, Adventure Bible and the Good Samaritan. And this is a level two is high interest stories for developing readers. I find that the Bible readers have some difficult names sometimes. So while it's a level two, they may need help with some of the, um, the Bible figures in the story. I can read level two, Moses leads the people. We read a ton of these last year as well. Okay, we have here Frog and Toad. This is a level two and it's a chapter. Um, level two still is the high interest stories for developing readers. And this one's the chapter book. It has five chapters, 52 pages. And a lot of people are familiar with the Frog and Toad um, books. Um, I don't particularly like frog and toad books. Um, I have found that some stories are a little bit um, not keeping in line with um, you know our Christian values and things. Um, not that anything particularly stands out. I guess one story stands out. Um, Days with Frog and Toad, which I think I have someplace here. Um, had a story in it, um, a scary story. I think it was called Shivers. Um, and just the way that story played out was just a little, it stuck out to me and it was a story my, my daughter got scared reading. And so um, I actually started reading all the readers first and making sure they were okay for her to read before um, I let her just have at it. Um, if I can find that book, I'll pull it out and um, show you what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, if you um, do have a child who's particularly sensitive, I do recommend just going through the stories and uh, reading them beforehand, if you can, or just, you know, um, glimpsing through, skimming through. Sometimes the characters have, um, I'd say, um, like bad attitudes, or they can sometimes come across as being a bit of a bully or rude or something and I understand that there's like character development and then you know there's conflict resolution in books but I find and I don't know if you find this with your kids but even though there are stories like that that happen um, the kids generally tend to hang on to the negativity part of the story as opposed to the resolution part. Um, I think they're just so young that they're picking up on more of the conflict as opposed to, hey, this is how we uh, resolve problems. And so that's why I try to keep um, my children away from TV sh shows um, that have characters who are just constantly in conflict um, just because, like I said, they tend to gravitate towards the conflict part and don't necessarily grasp that resolution part. All right, so that was my issue with the frog and toad, but we're going to give this one a try. Um, she does really want to keep reading the frog and toad um, books, so we got this one, and we'll see how it goes. Um, actually, I think I have someplace here the one I'm referring to. Oh, yeah. 
So um, this is Days with Frog and Toad. This is the one I'm referring to here that we uh, read. So she finished reading this um, closer to the end of um, her first grade year. So Shivers is what I'm talking about here. Okay, so the story is um, basically Frog and Toad are sitting down and they're talking about um, a story, uh, a scary story. Um, I don't know if it's Frog or if it's Toad that's telling the story, but um, he basically tells a story how he went into the woods for a walk with his parents on a picnic or something, and then um, the dad or the mom, I forget who talks about a terrible ghost that comes out at night and eats little frog children for supper and um, you know um, then it, sh it shows kind of like this scary thing here this gigantic frog that's apparently a ghost um, and whoever is telling the story frog or toad um, talks about this old dark frog and you know the person's like D are, you, are you scared um, and he says, is this a true story or, um, you know, is it true? Did this really happen? He's like, I don't know. Maybe it happened. Maybe it didn't. So even towards the end, there's no resolution to whether or not this was um, just a story, you know, like a scary story that's being told or if it actually happened. But anyway, um, I think it was Frog who ends up tying up the ghost who's trying to eat him and leaving him in the woods to die, basically. Um, so, yeah, I just didn't think that was terribly appropriate. Um, it's not the type of stuff that we like to read. We don't like to read things about ghosts, um, Halloween things, just our basic fundamental beliefs and um, where we come from as Christians. We don't tend to um, read things like that in stories or retell stories that way. Um, and this is in no way judgmental uh, towards people who do like reading books like that for fun or whatever. It doesn't, you know, that doesn't offend me and um, I'm totally open to other people's opinions. It's just my, my personal feelings and how our family feels. Okay, just a little warning about the Frog and Toad series. All right, so the next book I have here... Um, this is a story about the Underground Railroad. It's an I Can Read Level 3 and complex plots for confident readers. So it just tells you about um, how this is about a runaway family who escapes and um, they try to find the, uh, oh, they discover the Underground Railroad. Chapters are in here. And this one has six chapters. It's gonna be a good one. We have um, a level three and Greg's microscope. Um, I think a few of these I actually got off of the new list that the Good and the Beautiful put out. Um, and some of them I had already purchased, but um, there's I, I know for sure that this one is on that list, level three. Really cute pictures. Um, and this is also an I can read book. So level three is, well, it just says it's for grades two to four. So I don't know, maybe you guys know the answer to this, but I noticed that some of the books say an I can read book and then they have kind of like the same banner and then these just say I can read. So I don't know what the def differences are, but they do look like they're kind of set up different. So I wonder if it's a a different publisher. Well, no, it's not a different pub publisher. They're both Harper Trophy. So maybe they just do these differently based on something. I don't know what. Okay. The next one is Passport to Reading Book. This is a level three. This is uh, Ling and Ting, not exactly the same. It's about twin girls. And there are six chapters here. And this is reading independently. So this has like the checkpoints in this book. Um, I guess it's for the guided reading if if um, 
anybody, anybody does guided reading or has ever done it in like a classroom, um, this works off of that, I guess. Um, word count here, 857, guided reading level K, and number of Dolch sight words. The next um, book is The Josephina Story Quilt by Eleanor Kaur. I haven't really been talking about the authors, but you can see them here. Um, this is a level three, Complex Plots for Competent Readers. This was also one of the books on the Good and the Beautiful list. Six chapters, 55 pages. So this is um, a, like a historical book as well. And the covered wagons and traveling. Um, I think it has more of a specific, yeah. So I know this little girl wants to bring her chicken pet on um, on the travels and um, it kind of unfolds and it's pretty sweet. The next story is Wagon Wheels. It's also a level three. And this is more like of a, a historical reader. Four chapters. and it tells you what it's about. The boys and their father um, come to a long way to canvas, but when daddy moves on, the three boys um, must begin their own journey. So this is um, them going um, with their dad on a journey. It says where they're going um, to find land, the land that was promised, uh, free land that was promised, and um, let's talk about um, yeah, the Homestead Act. Yep, it's about land that was promised to anyone willing to settle the West. So that's about their journey. So that's really cool. Um, this is the Penguin Young Readers um, series. This is a level three Oliver and Amanda book. Amanda Pig and the Really Hot Day. And here is the transitional reader. It has multi-syllable and compound words, more dialogue, different points of view, more complex storylines and characters, and a greater range of genres. This one has four chapters, and this was also on the Good and the Beautiful book list. Along with like, um, I think a bunch of different um, titles from this series of Oliver and Amanda. Greenlight Readers. This is a level three, upstairs a mouse, downstairs a mole. This is a really um, cute book. And level three here is get moving, reading independently. I don't know what these ones mean. I guess it means guided reading L, reading recovery 17 and grades two to three. So mouse lives inside a tree and mole lives in the hole underneath the tree and they both like their homes clean and tidy but when mouse sweeps the dirt it ends up in mole's house. Is there a way for them to solve the problem? This is a really cute um, story. The illustrations are cute. Yeah. Uh, another green light reader book um, level three. This is Dotsworth in New York. My daughter's actually almost done with this one. She already started some of these. Um, this one is a get moving, reading independently. So um, some of these have harder words because um, in Dotsworth's travels, he goes to New York and he goes to a lot of like historical sites like the Statue of Liberty, um, the Museum of Fine Art and things like that. And some of the things like Coney Island are hard to pronounce. Um, so she did need some help with those, but other than that, she um, she really enjoyed the story and it was pretty funny. The duck was kind of hilarious. Next one is um, Ready to Read. This is a level two Henry and Mudge, the first book, and this is by Cynthia Ryland. She does a lot of really, she writes a lot of really great children's books. Um, I think she does the Poppleton series. Um, and she's done a, just a ton of other really great books and see if I can um, find some of the titles. Um, she had she wrote the book uh, when I was young and in the mountains um, and the old woman who named things, the Gooseberry Park um, book if you're familiar with that, Missing May. 
in the Poppleton series, like I said, but I'm sure there's quite a few more. So here, let's see. So this is the level two superstar reader. Um, longer sentences, simple characters, high interest vocabulary words. Chapters here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven short chapters. There's only 35 pages. This one is Mr. Putter and Tabby Pour the Tea. This is a super, super sweet story, um, and she loved it. There's a bunch of books in this series. See here. I don't know if this is a leveled reader. It doesn't really say uh, which level it is, but it looks about like a, a one. There's three cute chapters, but it's about this older gentleman who... Um, is lonely and he wants a companion and so he goes to try to find a pet he wants a pet cat and it's just funny how he goes about finding the cat and the sort of um, the sales lady that tries to give him a kitten or sell him a kitten it's pretty funny um, but anyway you don't have to read any of the books in order but I do suggest reading this one first because this is when their relationship started with this first book and then this is all the adventures they go on Anyway, guys, this is it for my video. I'm going to try to edit this as best as I can. No promises. I know this is long, but if you do have any suggestions for readers, they're kind of along the lines of, um, you know, historical, but also um, educational, but also fun too, but with different characters, um, even a series of ca like characters like Mr. Putter and things like that. If you could suggest any of those, that would be great. Thank you so much for watching and please consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. Bye guys.